Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are going to kill a giant toad king. And also some smaller toads. Toad retainers, I suppose. Never in doubt. Greetings, ugly things. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Feeling chilly? Not bad. Nice. <laughs> You're playing the game while watching this? <laughs> That's enthusiastic. Get him. Deal with that. Here goes. Here it comes. Bundle up. Nothing to it. Bring it. <laughs> Take the lead. I'm coming. Is that it? <laughs> Don't catch a cold. Gotta go for it now. I'll put it on ice. Glad that's over. Okay, health. Aerith. Heal up. And here we go. Punch through. Right. We gotta hurry. <laughs> Hedgehog Pie King, the leader of the Hedgehog Pie Pack. This self-styled king wears a toy crown it picked up in the slums. It attacks by charging into foes with spines on its back and by casting spells. It enhances the self watch comrades with its powers, so if target whoever is not currently... Yeah, that... Though, so right now its followers are protected, so we want to... Jeez. Okay. Start with Arcane Ward. And then we double Blizzard that guy. That little guy is really aggressive. Yeah, that shit is annoying. I'm waiting. Get him. Get your ATB gauge up. We need to kill those little guys. Okay, so they only use bounce when the king charges them up. Worst possible targeting, Aerith. Okay, that's one. And now we do healing wind. Stay strong and carry on. Don't catch a cold. 
Yeah, that makes it a lot easier, actually. This one's for you. I'll put you on ice. Too much? But yeah, Arcane Ward is extremely good. Like against enemies like this. Now, I think he's gonna stand still for a second. There we go. Okay. Moving on then. So basically, really, I thought you should target the king because he would be unprotected, but no, you need to take out the little ones. That's the important Did thing. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. I kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. Nail bat. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. Now, the Ice Magic in Kingdom Hearts has a few different versions. One of them is like a spread shot. I think that's in Kingdom Hearts 2. And then one of them acts like a thing that creates a path that you can slide on. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, Chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Biggs, huh? I've completely lost track of time. Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. There's so many side quests, I love it. And it's also rather necessary. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't How long has this been going? Uh, three hours-ish. Because I command a very good salary. Now, the nail bat. <laughs> yeah. It has no materia slots whatsoever. But I want to learn that skill. Maybe I can give it a materia slot or two, that would be good. Oh yes, yes, it does have some. It 
It also has some massive stat bonuses. Okay, now... Now I can get my materia in there. Tonberry Cactuar Chogobo Moogle. Stop thinking of food so much. It's almost dinner time and I'm hungry. Right, so there's the game, whatever the hell that is, and paying respects. Synergy Materia allows an ally to follow the leader's attack with a command from a linked Materia. Works with fire, ice, lightning, wind, and poison. Oh, that's pretty good. But then you you do have to... Okay. So does that mean the leader equips it? And then... Hmm. Not sure how that's supposed to work. Does anyone in chat know how this synergy materia works? Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. You can do. Oh hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Uh, sure? Destroy as many boxes as possible inside the time limit. Each box will add to your score, and once the timer reaches zero, the timer is over. Durability effects and score differ with each type of box. Blue boxes fill your ATB gauge. Lovely. Destroying wrecked boxes extends your time. Right, so you're supposed to use abilities. Hey, he even has different animations when he uses this thing. How much health does this damn thing have? Brace yourself. 
Sorry. Oh my god. Really? How the hell do these kids break these boxes? Well, I hit the target score at least. Could have done better, could have done worse. Not sure I want to have the nail bat in there. Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before! See? Pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Well, got 20k. Now, different weapon, please. We'll be here whenever you want to play. Okay, focused thrust does not work here. Brace yourself. No holding back. Here we go. So long. I'm not going to be improving on my score here. Or maybe I will. Okay, I thought there'd be more boxes forever, pretty much. Guess not. Okay, so it is worth... It is worth stopping. To break all the boxes in an area. All right. Only one way to become a whack -a box master. Whack, whack, whack. One more time. Wanna play some? Yeah. I don't know what a spectral cog wheel is, but I know I want it. No holding back. <laughs> Sorry. All right. No holding back. So long. Brace 
brace yourself. Let's do this. Yeah. Break you, motherfucker! Fuck. Get ready. Sorry. All right. But yeah, it seems like. The way to do it is operator mode to break as many boxes as possible and then We'll be here whenever you feel like playing. Oh, I'm not done. I'm getting Moogle medals. Oh, there's multiple paths. Here we go. Sorry. Brace yourself. Let's do this. But that's also a bit of a red herring in the way. At least if you spend more than 10 seconds, there it is. No holding back. So long. Yeah, I think the most successful strategy is just to try and get the plus 10 boxes as fast as possible. And there we go. All right. So long. Yes, let's do this. All right. Well, got there. Okay, Spectral Cogwheel, what are you? A mysterious cog capable of converting ethereal energy into power. Arr? Cog 
Consuming MP fills the limit gauge? Oh, I see. I think I know who that's supposed to go on. That seems like it was well worth it. Move, Cloud, move. Right. There's one down there. Let's go see what that is. A certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. Press, huh? I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. Oh, God, it's a liberal. For everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. Liberal. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Now yeah, a European liberal. Yeah, not not an American liberal, probably. Have all deserted me. Well, honestly, also an American centrist. Work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called. Why, hello! What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. <laughs> the bat looks so silly. I'm sorry we didn't have any. Is that all you needed? If you want to hear about the latest rumors, I'd be happy to share. I'm sorry we didn't have. Is that all you needed? If you want to hear about the latest rumors, I'd be happy to share. Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marae. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. What's that? Guardian Angel of the Slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? Huh. Even if I knew to folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't so around. It's always a pleasure to speak with those <laughs> Mireille, huh?
Well, let's go to the graveyard first and get that out of the way. That man's voice was Alucard from Helsing? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Is that three queens? Uh... Right. They are weak to ice. Wait. Did Aerith have two ice material equipped? See what you like. Subspecies of the Gresh Trike that's marked with yellow and black patterning on its carapace. It is also armed with a highly potent poison. Just, just go away. Ah, jeez. Nice. No, the other one, the one on the ground, Cloud. Get fucked. Everything's spinning. Go on. Can't keep eyes. All right. I'm probably losing this one. Feeling good. I think I need to lie down for a bit. These motherfuckers are tough. And that fucking sleep status effect doesn't help. Right.
Gotta be careful. Listen. Get ready. Let's finish this. Get him! That sleep bullshit has got to stop. I'll take care of you. Slowly getting this under control. Bless them with your love and grace. Yes. Hats. This must be it. God, those are annoying. Like hey, the special enemies. Do you want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. 
I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body is a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. You wouldn't have been able to. You would have been... To die trying. You would have been murdered. Just hella murdered. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? Man, I would have liked that 5,000 gil, though. So, that equipment there. Studded bracer. Ah! The big physical defense bracer, in other words. I prefer the equal split. So, how do I... Oh, there. Good there she is. Again, Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, Excellent character Cloud. design. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway... It so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Well, all right then. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille, as in the Mireille, the town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! Idiot. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh, Sleep well, male. Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh, uh... Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Well, now, that sounds like a boss fight.
You're that Merc, aren't you? Where are we going? Aha! The optional. I knew it. I knew it was a fight arena. I knew it was. I knew it was. I knew it was. How's my health? Everyone's at full power. I kind of like that I now have a ability with this nail bat called Disorder. Because every time I hear that word, I can only think of one thing. You, how do you own the world? How do you own Disorder? Disorder! A system of a down all the way down. Now, somewhere between the secret, silent secret, silence and sleep. Somewhere. Between the sacred silence and sleep. Oh, right. That's not the way. Leave this to me. I don't think so. That way, right? Yeah. Let's assess the beastie. That doesn't have teeth. Okay, gonna le need me some lightning material. Okay, that did not do what I wanted it to do. I got your number. Normally, attacks do not affect its stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of physical damage does make it susceptible to staggering. Furthermore, hitting its wrecking ball with magic attacks will quickly fill its stagger gauge. Well, Deal that sounds that. good. I'll take care of them. Try to stop being stunned, Aerith. It's very inconvenient. This one's for you. Too bright. Get him. Quiet. 
That should stagger him. One more shot. How shocking. Keep up the pressure, okay? Keep it up. Right, right. And there goes that zone. Don't get stunned! No, 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 no! Oh! This might be it. That was it, nice. That was weird. Oh, fuck off. I'm coming. Still up for it? I'm wide awake now. I should probably heal up first. Stay strong and carry on. Here it comes. This one's for you. Can you call yourself a bodyguard? Man, I had no trouble dodging it okay? before. Okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do it. what I can. Get him! Here, move. Steady. I block it and it doesn't do nothing. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. Never again. Gotta be Yeah, I'm stunned. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you got That's very annoying. That's our first game over. This is starting to look like a Dark Souls fight. Yeah, it's actually kind of feels similar. Like this one feels a bit similar. Yeah, like I thought, it doesn't start with that skull cracker attack going on. Bam. Calling lightning. I'll I'll do what I can. This one's for you. So it can silence you as well, which is inconvenient. No big deal. Sorry. 
sorry, but I gotta. That'll do. Every little bit helps. Maybe that'll do the trick. You jittery? Yeah, it's getting really aggressive with those skull crackers now. Gotta heal first. Why can't I? Lend me your strength. What the hell? I just healed. Be careful. Right. You need a breather. Sure. However, I can help. That's it. Here it comes. This one's for you. Thought I had you covered. Okay. I'm gonna stop trying to control Eric and control Cloud instead, and hopefully. Oh, you son of a shithead! Come over here. And I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Mm. I think barrier is the right play. I think having Aerith use barrier is probably the right play because... I don't have a way to avoid the stun. I don't have a way to resist it. So like the only thing I have is stop and slow immunity. No, not the Iron Sphere, you idiot. Yeah, the Nail Bat is 
fucking useless in in uh, Punisher mode. So it's my turn. Maybe this will do the trick. Right. Stay back. Buzz off. Yeah, between the silence and and the stun, this guy is a real dickhead. Yeah, it has enough tracking that you can't you can't it's dodge it sideways because he just kidding? changes his orientation. Too bright? But I think maybe you can dodge it just by running away. And that's the more effective strategy. But the reason why that didn't work for me previously is because, well, the dickhead would create this circle of stun that would just suck me in. So yeah, don't get caught in the stunning circle. There. Just, just go away. Yeah, because I can handle the... Take the lead. I'm coming. I can handle the splash damage from that thing. But not the... Maybe this? Okay, this time we got him. This one's for you. Just a bit. Okay, then. <sighs> uh, he's gonna self destruct. Or not. Just vanishes. Okay. What a dickhead. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. 
This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. Those skull crackers, like when he does like two of them in a row. Jesus. And here's one of the texture issues. You can see how long it takes to load in. Sure of it. Pinned by the angel herself. Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around. I hey, I recognize that symbol. A lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. <sighs> if the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. Ha! <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Whew! We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. And that seems to me a perfect ending point for an episode of this over on the second channel. For those of you on the stream, oh, we are still going. We are not stopping here. <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but for those of you who are watching us in VOD, well, this will be the end of one of the episodes. The other one will be up on the channel over the course of today or tomorrow, depending on how things work out. I'm going to try and post, like, two of them a day. Uh, so if you prefer to watch this in one-hour chunks, that happens over on Tubi's Kind. But if you'd like to keep watching this huge, enormous VOD, well, stick with me.